Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Becca Stevens. Thank you! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Julia Easterlin. <laughs> <laughs> We are so, 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 so happy to be here. I'm speaking directly to everyone here at Sony Hall and also to all of you who are tuning in and um, who decided to support us this evening. Thank you. Um, this is the first time playing a show this year for a lot of us, and it's the first time playing a lot of these songs um, with a full band since the record came out. Um, so it's a very exciting night for me. Sorry I'm out of breath. I remembered that I needed to put on my nice gig shoes, which you'll never see, but um, I ran down to do that and now I'm out of breath because I've been sitting in my apartment for nine months and not getting exercise. Here they are. <laughs> um, we're gonna open up with a song called Low on Love, which is also the first track on the album Wonder Bloom. And I have permission from everyone up here to pull this down from time to time, both for my breathing and also because it sounds better. All right, here we go. Low on love. Thank you so much. 
So my uh, my dad sent me in the mail this little um, speaker that has applause and crickets and um, rim shot and um, one other thing I can't think of what it is right now. And it really comes in handy in 2020 performance situations, but I forgot it tonight. But I brought all this other stuff, so I think we're doing okay. <laughs> I'm going to grab my next instrument while somebody else says something unplanned. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you guys ready? Here we go. This one's called I Wish. Continue on with um, songs from the new album Wonder Bloom. Feels weird to say that because it came out in March, but you know, March. March was not the best time to go on the road. So these songs have not yet seen the light of day that much. We're listening to Frank Lacrasto on the keys. Woo -wee. 
Frank and I, and Chris behind me, we've all known each other since college. I sang on Frank's senior recital, a song that we wrote together. Yeah. And his first record. Um, behind me, also, who I have known for that long, is Chris Tordini on the bass. <laughs> Yay, Chris! <laughs> to Chris's left, who I've been a fan of for a decade, and um, we shared a bill once in Boston, Julia Easterlin. Hey. Almost directly behind Julia is someone who I have admired from the day that I met him, and I have a totally appropriate crush on his son. <laughs> who's like this little, um, and uh, this guy, this is, I mean, he, he's incredible. I met him as a percussionist, and then he came in and slayed my music on a session at Adam Audio, and then came in again and slayed my music today. His name is Keita Ogawa on the drums. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's his birthday. Oh, Happy birthday, yeah. Keita. Happy birthday, Keita. Hey. Uh, that's where people usually clap and scream and stuff um, in the audience. What audience? Um, to, Julia, to Julia's left is a human being who I've also known for a very long time and admired for a very long time as a musician and also as a person who makes me laugh. And I just I think like gets me. Um, he's incredible and you know him already. Michael Mayo on vocals. And one more person who is extremely important to me in my life and who learned all of this music to go on the road with my band um, back in March or April or May or something and didn't get to do it. So finally, he's getting to play all this stuff that he learned. Um, he plays guitar in Snarky Puppy and also has his own band. Bob Lanzetti, everybody, make some noise. Do it even if you're at home. Good. <laughs> to the four people who were drunk enough to do that. <laughs> All right. So we're going to play now a song from Wonder Bloom. This is called Between Me and You. It was co-written by a guitarist named Justin Berger.
and Denny on the guitar. Woo! 2020, the year that musicians started clapping for themselves on stage. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. Next up, we've got a, a loud little ditty. Um, I wrote this song inspired by a script that I read that Michael Showalter sent to me for a TV show that's now, now out. Now? <laughs> now out. And um, the show is called In the Dark. And the, the script that I read was for the pilot of the TV show. And I just, I found it very inspiring. I wrote this song. And um, that's all I'm going to tell you about it tonight. Actually, maybe I'll tell you a little bit more while I fine tune. Um, so in the pilot, there's a girl, she's blind, and um, she's made friends with this young boy whose name is Tyson. Um, they met in very uncommon circumstances. She was being mugged, a blind lady walking in an alleyway. She was being mugged, and he saved her. And um, then later on, he's killed, and she promises to avenge his death. This is called I Will Avenge You. Save me. 
love you, Dara. Um, this next song is called Never Mine, and I just put a music video out for it through Brooklyn Vegan yesterday. Um, the song was written with an incredible bassist songwriter named Kave Rastigar. And um, <clears throat> the video was filmed in Prats de Rey in Catalonia. And uh, Jeff Jorba, the videographer, and I were wandering around trying to find something to do for the video. We were making three videos, it, and this was the one that we didn't have a plan for. And then suddenly, he, while we were sitting at a bar, having like a break in the middle of the day, he said, I have an idea. Can you learn this song in slow motion? And I was like, heck yes. And so we filmed 14 minute takes of a three minute song um, several times in slow motion. And the video is one complete take of me singing the song three times slower than it sounds on the record and then sped back up. So it looks like everybody behind me is moving really fast. Anyway, you can watch it online. This is called Nevermind. One, two, ready, go. Only wanna touch you in the morning light. Revel in the warmth of yours, tangled up with mine. Only wanna feel your heart. Pulling like the tide, filling up the reverie with the swaying of our sides, the swaying of our sides, the swaying of our sides, swaying of our sides, swaying of our sides.
Oh my goodness. It's time for a world premiere. Wow. This is where the little uh, applause thing comes in handy. The applause button. Or I could boo for myself, too. So this is a song. This song is also a big part of the reason why we're here tonight. Um, we are hosted this evening by Ground Up Music, the music label that I am on and that a lot of us are associated with in one way or another. Um, I think we've all been to the Ground Up Music Festival together. You haven't been? Michael, come on. Next year, you got to go. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> 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 um, so Ground Up is like a family to me. And um, we worked really, really, really hard on Wonder Bloom. And I was shocked that um, this song was nominated for Best Arrangement for a Grammy. <laughs> and so, thanks, guys. Um, and I should mention that uh, my co-arrangers were Nick Hard, who was also the co-producer of the album, and Talia Billig, who was, is an old friend of mine, incredible songwriter, singer, and um, came over to my apartment for the very first writing session of this song. So we're co-writers as well. Um, but yeah, this is a song called Slow Burn, and there's a music video for it as well that came out recently, edited by Chris McQueen, who's also a guitarist in Snarky Puppy, and... Um, we hope you like it. This is a world premiere. You! Actually, I'm not going to count this off. <laughs> Be cool if you want to. Be cool if you want to. 
I feel like now is an appropriate time to give a big shout out to Keita Ogawa on the drums and orchestra. <laughs> hey. Who invented the orchestra? Was it you? No, um, Hermeto Pascual. Oh, Hermeto Pascual invented the orchestra. But the orchestra are little dog toys, like pigs that squeak. I mean, I feel like it's not appropriate to call them dog toys after what you just did with them, but. <laughs> <laughs> and um, on, the, on, the, on Wonder Bloom, we did a percussion recording session day in Marcelo Wolofsky's old basement apartment in, uh, in Harlem, and everybody played orchestra, and the song begins with um, the end of a take of the three of them, Marcelo, Keita, and Nate Worth laughing at, at the end of a take. Because it's just such a fun instrument, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to play some more stuff from Wonder Bloom. This next one's called Feels Like This. And there's a music video for this one, too. Hmm. Does anybody else want to talk? <laughs> Please? <laughs> I feel like Michael has good jokes. I yeah, truly he don't. does. <laughs> start it. Start the um, joke. Um, uh, there was a there was a guy at a deli who, 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 who. I don't know. He he ordered a sandwich. Why am I yeah. still going? He ordered a sandwich. Is this go and yeah. Uh, he he had been in lockdown all year long. Oh my gosh. Hadn't played a gig in years. <laughs> what felt like years. Oh. Since it was really just since March. Mm -hmm. And. Now he's here. Oh, what a this good guy. job. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> will do it when Jake shows. <laughs> it's your turn. That's my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. I mean, it's not a joke, it's just a true story. But I, so pre pandemic, I worked as a bartender. Um, and I, wor I was working on Halloween and I forgot that I was dressed in a costume. And it was sort of a vague costume. <laughs> and someone came up to the bar and they said, who are you? And I said, Julia. <laughs> and, they, and they said, Julia who? And I said, Easterland? <laughs> and they said, I've never heard of that person. <laughs> <laughs> that is like a joke. <laughs> I love that joke. I'm going to tell that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Feels like this. Here we go. One, two, oh, one, two. Such tenderness in love like this. Just claiming it will cut through you like fire. Shattering everything you know. My head's a mess, but I'm loving it. Cause the wear and tear will brown me up like Strong and soft and open to
This is what it feels like. I am alive, breaking open to the human. Feels like I won't forget this time. Just learn this feeling is what we live to find. This is what it feels so much <coughs> what's that I know it is um, because Dara is the only person clapping and we feel her so acutely today um, it really is I it really is a very important part of what we do and I don't I didn't realize that until this year um, <coughs> and I, I wanted to just tell you a little bit about her because I can't not um, she's a beautiful documentarian, videographer, singer, songwriter. She does a lot of things. But um, she's been documenting the lives and careers of artists over the last 13 years, creating a documentary called New York Love Songs, which is not out yet, but um, little bits of it are starting to surface on the interweb. So search on YouTube, New York Love Songs. Um, she just put a video out a few days ago that has footage from my sophomore year of college, which was 2005 or four or something, and my senior recital, and you know, all the way until basically yesterday. So look up Dara from New York Love Songs and you won't regret it. Yay, everybody clap for Dara! <laughs> all right. So we're gonna play another song from Wonder Bloom. This one's called You Didn't Know. And this song was inspired by um, a docu-series called Surviving R. Kelly, which um, there have been two seasons of it on Netflix, I think. And I only watched the first one. It's the kind of thing where you need to clear a few days in your schedule to have an emotional hangover afterwards because it is very, very dark and very heavy. But um, I was pretty devastated by it and all I could really think of to do afterwards was write a song. So this is what came of it. It's called You Didn't Know. I sort of feel like that could be better in tune. So we are in C, G, D, I'm loving this accompaniment. G, C. D. That's better. Here we go. Everybody in together? One, two, ready, go. Oh, 
you couldn't know him. You couldn't know him. You didn't know him. You didn't. You didn't know him. You didn't know him. He was your first love. Yeah, he likes him that way. Keeps you promising. You'll never think of another face. He took all your dreams and your family. Put them on a leash just out of your reach, saying you've got nothing left to lean on but me. Who's your daddy? So where you gonna go? You didn't know him. You didn't know. You didn't. You didn't know him. You didn't know. I was completely disregarding the set list, wasn't I? <laughs> so, <laughs> I lose. I was the last one to notice. Um, so let's do some small group stuff, and then we'll finish up with the last couple Wonder Bloom. Does that sound fun? Um, we're going to feature Mr. Mayo for a song. We're going to play um, an old one called Canyon Dust, which um, I wrote it when, when Michael was still in diapers. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I was. Diaper parties. It was solid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you ever go to a diaper party? No, I, I, I don't think we had those. We were too nerdy about music and time signatures. Yeah. Yeah. People were uh, doing other stuff, like practicing. Right. <coughs> so this one is called Canyon Dust. And Mike, I'm sorry that I went out of order of the set list. 
you please make some noise, everyone from home, for Mike on monitors, yeah. crushing yeah, it. Mike. I mean, I don't even know if there is any sound in the house. Is there sound in the house? Is it all monitors tonight? I think it's just monitors and then headphones. So it's all Mike. Oh, well, I'm getting to Patrick. I just have to find the piece of paper that has the title. <laughs> um, there it is. On front of house. Patrick, make some noise for Patrick. <laughs> Woo! Um, on video, Kurt. I haven't even seen him. Where is he? Kurt. Hey, Kurt. He's Oop. so far. Oh, he's up there. Right? Can't see him. Oh, I saw a hand. And last but not least, James on lights. I love this color. Yeah. Beautiful. And it sparkles. Here we go. Canyon dust. This is from Weightless. Came out in 2011. Here we go. <clears throat> Although you may have thought that you did right, your selfish choice to leave three hatching eggs has made a canyon in our chest. Your precious nest has three we shovel Michael Mayo on voice. Um, Chris Dordini on the bass. Let's go to um, let's go to be still. That sounds fun right now. So, Chris um, is a member of my band, Rebecca Stevens Band, um, and we've been playing my music together for, I don't know, since 2005. Yeah. And he's the only member of my band, official member of my band that is in town right now. <laughs> so all of these other people that you have heard tonight learned the music for this gig, which is pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. And so Chris and I are going to do a couple, just the two of us, and then we'll finish up with varying degrees of um, fullness. Um, <clears throat> Chris, do you want to say anything while I get in tune? Oh man, I got this crazy note that uh, 
Try to waltz into a deli, and he orders a sandwich. Have you heard this one before? Uh, no, no, I think you should tell us. Oh man, <laughs> just kidding. Come on, tell it. No, that was it. No, I'm not Mich- Who do you think I am, Michelle Willis? You do this one. What? Let's freestyle it. Uh, Ready? Does this sound right? Yes. Okay. We haven't played this song in like a year. Yeah. Oh boy. This could be fun. This could be fun. This one's from um, Perfect Animal, which we recorded in North Carolina, where I'm from. We recorded it in Durham, though, and I'm from Winston Salem. Um, you woo Durham. I imagine like one or two people in Durham right now being like, oh my gosh, and their names might be Kate McGarry and Keith Gans if they're listening. They're probably hooting for Durham right now. <coughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> My grounded love with your calm clarity What if mine ain't enough for the love that you need? For the love that you need My tongue gets tied And you're clear when you speak Your roots plant your feet And I'm lost Your roots plant your feet And I'm lost in the Your roots plant your feet And I'm lost in the trees My grounded love With your calm clarity What if mine ain't enough For the love that you need My tongue gets tied and you're clear when you speak Your roots plant your feet And I'm lost Your roots plant your feet And I'm lost in the Your roots plant your feet And I'm lost in the trees Be still My heart It drifts above Up where the dreams go when we keep it asleep. Our love is a crop that's sleeping. Walk me to the yard and we'll see what it needs. We'll dig in the dirt and pull up the weeds. The truth hurts most when we keep it asleep. Be still. My heart, it drips. dreams go out of love my heart this love that's rising little moves on but it's long enough Peace. 
Thank you so much. Um, he's so far away from me and behind me. Make some noise for Chris Tordini on the bass. I mean, I can do whatever I want right now, which is cool. Let's play 105. I like that one right now. <laughs> oh, changed my mind. Just kidding. Um, 105 is a song, another song from Perfect Animal, and um, the text is by a wonderful poet named Jane Tyson Clement, and uh, this year, with all my free time, I've been doing one of my favorite things to do in the whole world, which is to teach, and I've been teaching about my, one of my favorite subjects in the whole world, which is songwriting, one of the exercises that we've done in a songwriting course that I've been teaching is setting um, poetry. And I often reference this one because this is a, a poem that I read and it just jumped off the page as music. It's um, an untitled poem on page 105 of a book called No One Can Stem the Tide by Jane Tyson Clement. And so I named it after the page number, 105. Are you ready, Chris? Yeah. Okay, then I'm the one who's not ready. Here we go. It's been a while for this one, too. to the heart We might as well acknowledge The devil from the start And all the hasty as swiftly will decay while other flowers are waiting to grace a forward day it is foolish to have wisdom see and take and question must nourish any mind reserve a quiet 
judgment until the heart is old when fewer words are needed before the tale is told unnecessary to the heart We might as well acknowledge The devil from the start Unnecessary to the Chris Tordini on the bass. Can we get Keita and Bob back up here for Regina? Yay! Yay! Oh, thanks, guys. It was nice having you out there for a second. <laughs> the audience feels so alive. <laughs> What's that? The audience feels so alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quadrupled in size. All right. The uke is distorting a little bit. This is like my night for instruments running out of batteries, but it's got kind of an edge to it, so let's go with it. Um, this is the title track from not this most recent album, but the one before that. It's called Regina, and um, yeah, we're going to play it for you now. Thank you all so much, wherever you are in the world, if you're watching right now. We appreciate you. We feel you, and... Um, we're, we feel very lucky to be doing this right now. So thank you so much for supporting. This is called Regina. Carved a heart in a dogwood tree Your heart on the road 
Lanzetti on the guitar. Keita Ogawa on drums. Back up here. Please welcome to the stage again Michael Mayo and Julia Easterlin. There's no one left to clap. And Frank Lucrasco. There he is, <laughs> Frank Lacrasto on keys. Here he is. Um, the last few years of playing with Frank have exclusively been in the band Breast Fist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is an awesome band. And it usually takes the late, 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 late night last set of the festival slot at Ground Up Music, so it's loud and emotional and weird and wonderful. <laughs> I love that band. Um, I'm gonna need a second. Who wants to tell a joke? I'm gonna get this Turango in a new situation. Was your mic on for that? I want to make sure that everyone in the world heard your joke. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm just going to kind of mumble about things that I appreciate while I fine tune this charango. Everybody say charango. Charango. Good job. Is it spelled C H A? C H A R A N G O. Sure. Well, I guess it should technically be charango, but uh, who's counting? Um, so, I mean, we've kind of mentioned this already, but this, uh, we've been without opportunities to be on stages this year very much. And um, I just wanted to say how much I appreciate Sony Hall for 
arranging this and making this opportunity available for musicians to um, to continue to work on music and play together, and um, and and to keep our careers going in some way, shape, and form. And uh, yeah, so maybe if all of us just want to make some noise for Sony Hall, yeah. real quick. And I hope that the cameras are getting all this beautiful filigree. Um, this place has been around since 1938. And I had never been here before tonight, which is also surprising because this is a gorgeous hall. And I would love to come back one day and sing for humans that are all packed together like sardines, sweating, breathing on each other without worrying about anything. And um, I'm looking forward to that day. So we're going to play our second to last song now. It's called Halfway. And um, it's going to feature lead vocals from Michael and Julia simultaneously. <laughs>
for us. The time has come for us. <laughs> <laughs> I got ahead of myself. <laughs> uh, to play the last song, which is sad because this is most definitely going to be my last live performance of 2020. But you know what? I'm happy about that too. Um, <laughs> please make some noise again for Bob Lanzetti on the guitar. <laughs> Michael Mayo on vocals. Julia Easterlin on vocal. <laughs> Keita Ogawa on drums and pork. <laughs> Chris Tordini on the bass. <laughs> and Frank Lacrasto on all kinds of keys. <laughs> I guess I'll tell a story about this one. Is there anything that I've forgotten to say? Have I told you guys how much I appreciate you? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. The camera's just on my knees. It's getting a lot of this. I'm talking to any other camera that I didn't see. I'm talking to you that I appreciate you for supporting us tonight. Um, we need this and we need you. This last song is called Heather's Letters to Her Mother. And um, it's a song that I wrote about a moment in time, or not really about the moment in time. It's about a person named Heather Heyer, who um, she was an awesome person that I didn't know. And she was killed in, in 2017 while peacefully protesting the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. Um, and um, over the last few months, I've had the privilege and the honor to meet her mother, um, not in person, but over Zoom and over email. And um, it's been, it's felt like the song finally has come full circle in my heart because I use her mother, her, her mother as a character in the song, um, Heather's Letters to Her Mother. So this song is supposed to be from Heather's perspective in these little notes to her mom. And since talking to her mom, she's said that, um, that she did in fact call her ma, which I s put in the song, and that she felt that this song really captures Heather's spirit. So um, that was the greatest gift of 2020, I think, was getting to connect with her and having that affirmation. Um, it's also gonna feature vocals from almost everyone here on stage. And I hope that you, when they sing, wherever you are in the world, you will also sing um, and embrace the fact that this, maybe this is the last time we'll all sing together in 2020, so we'll make the most of it. And um, yeah, one more time, thank you to Sony Hall and thank you to everyone up here and thank you to all of you. We love you and good night. Got a new job keeping me happy. Fighting for the rights of the ones who need it the most. It's what I always wanted to do. Finally, living.
Nobody had a problem being kind to people who don't look like him. And when I saw him looking down on my friends, I said, you'll never love me if you can't love them. And we gonna stand strong tomorrow so every child is able to sing with no meaning of peace and love and liberty their home is ever lost Every time they try, we'll go Sing it out a thousand times as loud That we've got nothing without love This is the part you sing at home Thank you. See you all in 2021. We love you.